In this video, we're going to look at the behind the scenes debits and credits that happens when you create a sales receipt for inventory. So I'm going to go in here to my create sales receipt screen, choose one of my customers, choose one of my items that is an inventory part. We'll go down here and choose some brass hinges. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select quantity of 10 and the rate's going to be $150 each. For these purposes, I'm going to keep sales tax out of it because I don't really want to worry about sales tax right now. And I'm going to go ahead and save this transaction. Okay. So now once we have the transaction posted, when I save it, that's when it's actually posted. I can go up here to the journal area and I'm going to look at the, the different debits and credits and how that affects our books. Okay. So I have here uh, the item, brass hinges. First thing to note is that it hits undeposited funds. Normally, if this was an invoice, it wouldn't be hitting undeposited funds. It'd be hitting accounts receivable. Right now, we have the preference set up to hit undeposited funds every time you do a sales receipt. So it's going straight to undeposited funds, and it's going to raise undeposited funds, which is an asset account. So our balance sheet is going to go up. Then at the same time, our material income is going to go up for that same $1,500. And because it's an inventory asset, notice that the asset is going to go down by the cost of those brass hinges. And cost of goods sold at the same time is going to go up for the cost of those hinges. So there are two simultaneous transactions happening behind the scenes that QuickBooks takes care of us to make sure that you're properly accounting for your inventory being sold.